Hello, welcome back to another gas walkthrough with me, Bill. I'm Bill Murphy. I create and solve Sudoku puzzles, and along with Clover and Philip Newman, we are the gas team. Uh, for some reason, people started colloquially calling us the gas giants. Do you know the name just stuck? I don't know how I feel about it, but I'll take it. Um, we create uh, a genuinely approachable Sudoku puzzles for um you for free you you can do today's puzzle it's literally it's it's down there you can just go do it i'm not gonna stop you um who who would i even tell anyway um but today we are looking at Kropke pears by clover uh this is february 11th 2024's puzzle now normal sudoku rules apply oh pardon me now digits uh normal sudoku rules apply so Digits one to nine must go into each box, row, and column. Once each, without repeats. Now, digits separated by a white dot are consecutive. So this could be two and three. This could be seven and eight. We won't know until we start this puzzle. Uh, now, digits separated by a black dot are in a one to two ratio. So uh, this could be three or six because one is doubled the other this could be one and two there's so many so many possible combinations um but with that that's basically it that's all you need to know give the puzzle a go come back see how i do it it's probably worse than you or not we 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 won't know um but yeah let's go have some fun i'll be here when you get back um let's get into it so uh in each dot uh oh, in each box there's quite a bit of nice symmetry um so let's have a look at this one what can this dot be now uh if you're new to variant Sudoku and especially black dots in crop key puzzle there are certain combinations that this domino of like two cells can be it can either be one and two but this one can't be because i got a one there it can either be two and four which this one can't be because i got a four there Similarly, it could also be four and eight, but I can't do that because I've got a four, which I've already pointed out. So this must be three and six, because that is the last combo left. This three down here rules three out of that, so that's six and three. Now, left to place in this box, I have two, five, seven, and eight. The only two digits that I just mentioned that are consecutive with each other are seven and eight. So this is seven, this is eight, meaning I could have placed a two and a five there. Now, let's go over to this box. Uh, actually, no, no, no. <laughs> so, we'll go down here. Um, good thing, uh, and a thing that both Clover and I try to do, no one knows what's going on in Philip's head, but that's fine. Um, thing Clover and I try to do is always try and start in, like, box one, and then come down to, like, the opposite. Sometimes we start in box five, just to be fancy. But, this is two, this is three. So, I can either double one, two, two, three, uh, three, six, or four, eight. Now, uh, because I've already got a two and a three here, that rules out one, two, two, four, three, six. So this must be four and eight. Now, I need to place one, six, seven, and nine. The only digits there that are uh, consecutive are six and seven. And this is one and nine. Now, uh up here let's run through our options one two yes three uh two four no because i got a four there uh three six no because i got threes there and there and a six here too um and it can't be four eight because i got a four there so it must be one and two and uh, then what else have we got we've got five six eight and nine so um we have two sort of consecutive pairs there we've got five and six we've got eight and nine but a six in the row tells us that this can't be five six so this must be eight and nine and this is five and six five in column seven tells us where that goes over here all right ooh, ooh. oh actually let's do some more sudoku before i go any further uh five there tells us that's two and that's five this is one two now let's come down here um what can our pairs be it can't be one, two, because we've got a one there. Can't be two, uh, three, six, because we've got that there. And four, eight, got there. So this is two and four. Now, 
one, six, seven, and nine to place, meaning uh, the only two consecutive digits I just listed were six and seven. So that is six, that's seven, uh, one, and nine. One, nine, eight, nine, eight, four. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm pretty happy about that one. Uh, now, uh, that symmetry is a little odd. Let's get rid of that. What's this black dot here? It can only be either three, four, uh, sorry, it can only be, it can't be one, two, two, four, four, eight, so it must be three and six, meaning this is seven, this is six. Now, this has to be four. Now, uh, it can't be three, that's on the other opposite end of that, so that must be five, this is seven and eight, and this is one, two, and nine. Let's work our way around the grid now. Uh, one, two, and seven here, meaning this has to be seven, and this is one, two. Four, five, and eight to place with dots there. So this is five, that's four, that's eight. Uh, and three, six, nine. What's that, what's that song? Three, six, nine. I'm not going to try and sing that anymore because I am terrified of this channel getting copyright struck. Seven, eight, one. Be a damn shame to place too much uh, effort into it just to get a copyright struck, uh, struck because I was singing a very silly song. All right. Um, yeah, sorry. I had to be focusing on the puzzle. Get it together, Bill. Uh, two, five, and seven to place up here. This has to be five. This is seven. This is two. Uh, six, nine, two. Uh, what don't I have in there? That's eight. And this is one and nine. Uh, two, three, four to place here, meaning three must be by itself. This is two, this is four. One, two, three to go. And this has basically been all of uh, Clover's uh, crocky pairs. Um, I've been Bill, lots of my checks. I'm still Bill, unless something terrifying has happened. Uh, but, you know, hope you've enjoyed. Hope you've had a lovely day. Hope you gave the puzzle a go yourself. Um, but yeah, um, thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to drop us a like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, abject note of terror. Um, a million dollars on Patreon. Yeah, any of those is fine. Uh, but I will see you next time. Peace.